Stormy Daniels spent her Thursday night with fellow Trump critic Kathy Griffin in Boston. The adult star, who has been embroiled in a lawsuit with the president since early March and whose 2006 alleged dalliance with the man has dominated headlines, joined the comedian backstage to discuss their mutual disdain for the leader. They were seen in one photo holding up their middle fingers before Griffin posted a video of the pair talking about the latest Trump scandal the slogging coat the first lady wore on her way to visit a children's detention center in Boston. I really don't care, do you? The jacket read, outraging millions across the world at what they saw to be a direct and thoughtless message to the youngster she was about to meet. Scroll down for video Griffin dominated the conversation, asking Daniels, wouldn't you know you were in the effing jacket even if she's mad at the media, wait a effing week. Don't do it today, she continued. Time and place honey, Daniels perkily suggested. While Griffin blamed Melania's staff for giving her the jacket, everyone in the room appeared to agree she had to have known there was lettering on it. Share this article Share Stormy suggested the jacket was perhaps part of a malicious plot to bring down the presidency by gay people. Somebody was like. Some gay was by the plane, she joked, miming someone sliding up to the first lady and placing the jacket on her. I love a gay saboteur, Griffin responded. Daniels then revealed her fathers were gay, and Griffin told her, now I get it, now I see where you get your balls, your beauty and your brawn. And your brain. The video was shared to Twitter and captioned, you know Stormy and I had to talk about Melanie when she visited my dressing room backstage in Boston a sly nod to the time Trump spelled his wife's name incorrectly in a tweet. The video is not the first time Griffin had expressed her fury at the first lady's code. The jacket Melanie wore on the way to meeting the kids held in internment camps has I don't really care, do you? Written on the back, she wrote when pictures of the coat first emerged that day. FK these people and FK anyone who says we should be polite to them or maintain decorum, she added. Stephanie Grisham, spokeswoman for the First Lady, told DailyMail.com, it's a jacket. There was no hidden message. After today's important visit to Texas, I hope the media isn't going to choose to focus on her wardrobe. Meanwhile, the president said on Twitter her jacket was a rebuke to the fake news media 